until the last video of this series we had done the sender part and in this video we are going to do the receiver but in the last video i had forgotten to do a few things but those are not very huge so i'll just do it now go to the sender.html and here in the local video element add the attribute muted this will mute the audio of the local source in the last video i also did not give the functionality to the mute audio and mute video functions i am going to create them now so go to sender.js and here create the function mute audio and above this function create a variable named is audio set this to true initially and in the mute audio function we are just going to reverse the value of this so is audio will be not is audio now to mute the local audio source what you need to do is first get the audio track from the local stream this is an object that we have created here and this is referring to the local stream now to get the audio track we just have a function that is get audio tracks this will return an array of all the audio tracks that our stream is playing but we are only interested in the first one because we only have one audio track that is being played and this has an enabled property which i'm going to set to false not false is audio so if someone presses the mute audio function then this will become false the audio will get disabled and then if they press it again then this thing will become true and the audio will get enabled again and we are going to do the same thing for the video so create a uh, is video variable initialize it with true then create the mute video function reverse the value of the is video and then get the video tracks from the local stream and then just change the enabled property to is video uh, this was it for the sender part and now we are going to do things to the receiver inside the receiver folder create a receiver.html file and we will also need a receiver.js file now go to the sender.html and copy this entire html paste it in the receiver remove this send username button we only need one button and that will be to join a call and the text on this button is going to be join call the function that this will be calling will be join call and not start call and then just change the sender.js to receiver.js now go to the sender.js and we are just going to copy this entire thing paste it in the receiver and we will change a few things to make it work the sender and receiver code is not going to be much different the first thing that i want to do is remove this send username function and then change the name of this start call function to join call and also just move this username variable above to the join call so it is easier to refer and then once the join call button is clicked we will get the username from the input box so get that element by its id which is username input and then get the value out of this now go down this function and here instead of store candidate i want to change this type to send candidate so the server knows that we have to send this candidate to a person and that person is going to be this username we are also going to remove this create and send offer function and then also just delete this function below the on ice candidate function i want to send the username this username is the username of the person that we want to call so by sending this username we also want to tell the server that we want to join the call to that person so that the server returns us their offer and their ice candidates so i'm going to make a call to the send data function and 
here the type will be join call I do not need to attach the username since it gets automatically attached in the send data function. After this go to the handle signaling data function. Here change this answer to offer because for the receiver there will be no answer where the receiver will only get offers and in response to that offer it will create answers and send it. And also in the set remote description function we want to pass the offer. Once we have the offer, we will send our answer and I'll be doing that in a separate function which will be create and send answer. Now create the function and to create our answer, we have to make a call to the create answer function in the peer connection. This will return us a promise with the answer in it. Once we have the answer, we will set the local description and this will hold the answer. After this, we can send this answer to the server. So make a call to the send data function. Type of data is going to be send answer and also attach the answer. In the create answer function, we also have an error callback and we will just log out this error if there is any. So I guess this is it for the receiver and in the next video we will create the server which will connect both the receiver and the sender.